you can leave with half your color on. Are you gonna fucking hit me? Robin, get the out. Hello everybody, it's Jay Muse and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at a Karen that decided the best way to let her hairdresser know that she doesn't agree with her decision would be to try to hit her. You know, instead of acting like an adult and having a conversation. But hey, that's what Karens do, so I'm not gonna waste any of your time. We're just gonna go ahead and get straight into this video. She's gonna do exactly like I do it. Robin, you need to be more trusting. No. But it's me, I would never do anything to make you uncomfortable. Alright, if you're confused as to what's going on right now, Robin, the lady sitting in the chair, is obviously getting her hair done and her hairdresser is like, Yo, hey, I'm trying to train this lady. Can you like let her sit in? She's really good. Trust me. And Robin's like, no. And it's just basically making something that shouldn't be a big deal more of a big deal than it needs to be. Well, you're supposed to be what's the customer. Oh. Not on on this. I'm the boss here, Robin. <laughs> Doesn't everything just seem so calm and just like a normal conversation? They're laughing, joking, no big deal, right? I mean, everybody in the room is smiling right now. Well, she may look happy now, but behind that smile, there's a vicious viper just waiting for its moment to strike. I'm not paying her. Nope, but I pay her, so she does what I say. And you'll be fine. You wanna leave? You wanna leave? I will, if you don't do my hair. You have your color on, you wanna talk to me like that? Yeah, Robin! Sure. See what I mean? This lady's like bipolar. One minute she's laughing and joking around, and the next minute like, If you don't do my hair, I'm gonna leave. Like, whoa, dude. <laughs> Relax. I think you got some personal problems, and you need to keep them to yourself. Also, maybe exercise a little bit of common sense. You probably shouldn't act that way in the middle of your hairdresser doing stuff to your hair, because they can always just decide not to do it, and then you're left with halfway done hair. Robin, she's my assistant. She's got a hair. I want you to do my hair. Robin, don't talk to me that way. Oh, jeez. Like, do you not realize the situation you're in right now? Like, all it takes is one too many asshole comments, and then you're stuck with halfway hair for the next however long it takes for you to schedule another appointment. I swear, people forget that, like, services aren't something that are required. It's something that requires a level of respect on both ends. You can't just be a dick and expect to get amazing service or even helped. People can refuse service. They don't have to do anything. Especially when you own your own business, you don't have to serve anybody you don't want to. You have the right to refuse service. It's a literal thing. Wow, she's like making things up now. She's well, don't talk to me disrespectfully either, lady. She's been nothing but respectful to you. Like she's had the hairdresser tone and everything. Like Robin, chill. It's all good, girl. Come on, we're gonna be fine. I think it's funny. Even after the hairdresser lady de-escalated the situation, even then at the end she's like, all right, I will. Just do my hair already. You know, like she's still giving out commands. Robin, you can't talk to people like that and think that people are just gonna like do whatever you say. I can't to cut my hair. I know, and I am running a full blown business and I'm training oh, her because she on, wait, sure. wait really, honestly Robin, if you don't want to gear me out and like get to the resolution of this, you can leave with half your color on. Are you gonna fucking hit me? Robin, get the fuck out. And there we have it. She's now officially sealed her fate. Like, she is now destined for halfway hair for however long. This could have been easily avoided. All you had to do was just shut up and listen, and you could have gotten your hair done. But nope, she just had to go full-blown freaking attack mode. I feel bad for the lady in the background there who has a front row seat to everything. She just looks mortified, like, is this what I'm getting myself into? Oh, man, I don't know if I want to work here. <laughs> like, if that was the person that I saw on my first day at work, I'd be like, damn, uh, yeah, I might be looking for other opportunities, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go home now. It was nice to meet you, but goodbye forever now. Oh, yeah, and do not cause a scene in my business. You just almost went to hit me, and you know what? Oh, it's on camera. Robin, did you did it? Oh, get out. Here, let me get this oh, one. Oh, my God. Ew, Robin, that was fucking disgusting. You just made me waste product. Oh, oh my on. God, you're gonna let me go. You, I did show you my hair. Look how you just spoke to me, and, like, she I just saw that. Hair. Robin, I'm just having... I apologize. I'm having a lot of stress. Oh, 
Oh, sure. I'm sure you're just so stressed in your life that you just felt like you needed to hit your hairdresser because she wanted to train her employee. I just think it's hilarious the way that she says sorry. She's like, I'm sorry. I'm having a lot of stress in my life. You should know. Like as if that just absolves her from all wrongdoing now. Oh, your life is stressful. Oh, well fine. Yeah, punch me anytime. No big deal. As a matter of fact, the world suddenly revolves around you now because you're having a stressful life. So uh, here's a bat. And if you ever feel angry, just bash the nearest pedestrian's face in just because. Like seriously, that's just not gonna fly. You don't get to just be like, I'm having a stressful day. So, you know, I just needed to punch someone. Okay. Like, no, you don't get to just punch somebody because you're life sucks. You've got to compose yourself and follow the laws like everybody else on the planet. Yo, imagine being arrested for this and you're just like, officer, I, look, I was having a stressful day and I just, I assaulted nine people, okay? Like, obviously that wouldn't fly. You would just go straight to jail. You know, I just go on all day about this. Like, the lady's logic is just so flawed. It just baffles my brain. I can't handle it. I just, I just can't compute it. It doesn't work. I've got like the Windows 95 boot up screen going on with this situation. I have a lot of stress in my life. That was a lot, Robin. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Robin. Please. please. No, Robin. Please. Robin, not please. Like, come on, Robin. I need please. you to go. We're gonna have to reschedule. Oh yeah, because if you say please over and over, that usually gets people to just do things, right? Please, I just, I only hit you. Can we just continue on? I just need to get my way. And honestly, this hairdresser lady is taking it pretty well. By now, I'd be like, yo, get the hell out. Like, I wouldn't even be like nice at all about it. She's being really respectful. Like, she even offered to like reschedule and everything. That would be the last thing that I would do. I would never do business with her for the rest of my life. It'd be done. She'd be like banned from the store forever. We're gonna have to reschedule. Oh I'm sorry. That guy put you on me, Shaggy. Like, I've that. never had someone do that to well, me. I can't go with my hair. But you should think about that before you are disrespectful. Uh -huh. That was like wild, Robin. Like, I've never I had that. Want... Okay, fine. No, I Robin, want... let's just deal with this later. Like, I just need you to go. Like, that was oh super disrespectful. God. How can a lady this old be acting this way? She sounds like a legit five-year-old. Like, like she just slapped another kid and then got put in timeout. And is that one kid that's like, oh my God, I didn't even do anything. Ah, uh, fine, I guess I'll go to timeout. I swear, it's just like a common thing with Karens. It's like they never grew up. They never got any older. They just stayed toddlers, but like kept aging. Like, I can't even believe you should oh like that. God. Like, I really took care of you when no one in the other salon wanted to do your hair. I wanted to do your hair, and we created a bond. And you just oh, went that bond. Get this out? You're just going to go on and wash it. Robin, you can't disrespect people and expect people to do services for you. This is a service. It's not like the bank. You know what I mean? Like, I understand your situation with the bank, but you can't come in here in my business and make I it like... Have a lot of pressure I'm, from my daughter. You know, you know what? I have a lot of pressure, know. too. Robin, we all have pressure. I know, Let's just I end know. this. Here, Robin. Honestly, I oh appreciate you. Like, I'm wasting so much product, and like, I don't want you to waste your time. But that was a lot. Like, I'm gonna need you to go. Okay. She looks kind of like she's walking out. <laughs> and honestly, if she did, I don't blame her whatsoever. After that fiasco, I'd be out of there too. Well, that's where the video ends. And honestly, that Karen got owned pretty hard. It's pretty refreshing to see somebody not taking any Karen bullshit. Hopefully she realizes that she doesn't run the world now and will come back and be a little more respectful or whatever. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today's video. I really appreciate you if you got this far. And if you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe, you know, turn on notifications and all that. Also, if you'd like to be a part of the end of the video club, then why don't you tell me a story about something crazy that happened in your life? Anyway, thanks again. I hope you have a good rest of the day. I hope you stay happy and healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.